Hey, do you still have your school bus for sale? Hi, do you still have your school bus for sale? Hi, uh, yeah, do you have your school bus for sale? Hi, is your school bus still available? Do you still have your school bus for sale? Can I have your school bus? Hi, yeah, do you still have your school bus for sale? Is my school bus for sale? I can sell. We would always stay this free and I would never let you go. Cause of you. Don't want to waste another minute without you. I will love you in the dark. And if you ever fall out, please don't leave me out. Cause I will love you till I'm gone. If you just hold on. Hello. What's up, Van Clan? Welcome back. We look like this because we did not go to bed until 4 or 5 a.m. Looking for buses. <laughs> and of course the kids woke up at like the crack of dawn. So don't worry. I'm going to get this together in just a minute. You guys, I'm so excited about this new adventure we are about to embark on. You don't even understand. Since our last vlog, some things have changed in terms of what we're looking for. Originally, we were looking for a bus that was already done. But now we're thinking we're going to just buy a regular school bus and renovate it ourselves instead of buying it already renovated because we want the layout to be exactly how we need it. And a lot of these already finished buses are not how we need. And sometimes can just be harder to like unfix what's already done on a bus. So that's our plan. We've been looking for buses and we probably are going to be looking for buses all day long. But today in particular, we're getting rid of so much stuff. Garrick ran to the bank to pay some bills and he's also talking with someone right now about a bus that's in Texas that we might go and get. Wilder, do you want to get a bus? Yep. Yep. We really have a lot that we need to catch you guys up on and the plan and everything. Oh my gosh, I need to, I need to fix this. First things first. So a little bit of an update. We have been calling around for so long trying to find the perfect school bus for us. And I think we found a reputable dealership that we're gonna get the school bus from. And we're gonna have Ali and Noah help us build it from like the ground up. So yesterday, Noah had an idea that his dad would be able to help a lot because he's very knowledgeable in contractor work, yeah. building, all that kind of stuff. So they just FaceTimed us. He said that you needed to be here, so I'm gonna call so him back. To get he the said, news. There's news. All right, so let's hear it. My dad's in here absolutely do it. Yes! Yay! Let's go! I'm Heck so yeah. excited. He said he just wants a little bit more info, like what the needs are, what the exact budget is, pictures. I'm really excited that he okay. is willing to work on it, though. That's really exciting. You're gonna have the best custom bus that your money can buy. I think what yeah. we plan on doing is um, getting rid of all of our stuff and then renting an Airbnb for a month or two or however long that it's gonna take. So that way we'd be able to like be there be and there, help. get it done. Today we're focusing on like getting rid of all the stuff Why that we still don't need. I don't know. All the stuff that we don't need, like at all. We're getting rid of so much today. That's like everything. Some of you guys also may be wondering why I'm in the car and it's because I just had to go sign a document to like officially, officially back out of our land and home contract, which was a big deal for us. So that's a huge step. We just got confirmation that Noah's dad and Noah are gonna help us convert our bus and just like teach us a lot about the bus life and buses in general. And we're just going to like pay him for his help along the way and be able to spend more time with Ali and Cartier and Noah. Hi, baby girl. First things first that we are oh gonna God. work on is getting rid of clothes because we have too many clothes. Too many. Do you agree? We have too many clothes. Yeah. You have so many clothes. What's all over your face? Were you painting? Yeah. Wow, so beautiful. I also just posted on this local mom group that I'm in to try to get rid of a bunch of like kids stuff and just things that I know will go to a good home. So we're in the process of doing that and like taking pictures of everything, but we're getting rid of a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. I mean, think about it. We have a four bedroom house packed full of stuff. It's all gotta go. Hey, did they answer you about that school bus? Um, yeah. Is it still available? Um, no. Oh no, we gotta find a new one? Yeah. Okay, we could do that. Thank you. Are you excited to live in a school bus? Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Yeah. I got a Rolly on my wrist. You got me a Rolex? This is honestly from like Walmart. But look at the quality, it's so good. So something that I just realized that's gonna be a huge change for me is, I don't even know if you guys know this or not, but I think I have like somewhere between 50 and 60 pairs of shoes. Yeah, he's a shoe Which is fan. absolutely crazy, but a lot of these pairs of shoes I bought to invest in to eventually resell. These are shoes that like you buy for a certain price and they resell for a higher price. So it's an investment. A lot of people don't understand that you can invest in clothes and shoes and make a profit. So I gotta get rid of a bunch of shoes. So. I think not it's saying time. you can't do that while we're on the bus. Yeah, not because... saying we can't do that on the bus because I'm actually going to have a, a small space for my studio. And I have an idea to make small cubbies about this big to fit the shoes. Yeah, and not, not bring the shoe boxes with me and just yeah. have the shoes. And still be able to have maybe 10 or 20 pairs of shoes and it not take up any space at all. So it's going to be hard getting rid of a lot of those shoes. But I'm willing to get rid of them because this is it kind of goes with the lifestyle. We want to be able to get out. We want to be able to experience life and meet new people, and meet people who support us. But first things first, clothes. I'm honestly super easy when it comes to clothes. Like, I really don't care that much about clothes or really anything like that. So I feel like this part is gonna be fairly easy for me oh, and oh. harder for you. You know where I wanna start? Where? Follow me. Goodbye. And goodbye. <laughs> we have, yeah, goodbye, we do have so many sheets. Goodbye. goodbye. See you later. <laughs> Disappear. <laughs> All of it. We'll see you later. So I think the best plan of action would be to just dump all the clothes on the bed. On the bed. It's your idea, so let's do it. <laughs> but I didn't just say that two seconds before she said that. Okay! So we just got rid of a whole basket of clothes. I'm gonna show you guys real quick whole basket of clothes and we literally just started. We still have this whole dresser to do. Dirty laundry, my closet. My closet. Oh man, yeah, we got, oh my God, I didn't even think, oh my God. But yeah, we still have a lot to go. I just got rid of three whole drawers. That whole dresser, I just basically got rid of. So we're taking a break on our clothes and we're gonna start a little bit in the kids' rooms. Wilder specifically has a lot of shoes because I remember there was like a sale that we went to so we got we like stocked up on shoes for the year so he does definitely has some stuff to go through and i mean like most of these toys are going to be getting rid of a lot of this stuff just like doesn't fit him anymore. and so like we just we just like we got it so long ago and like a lot of the stuff we just we weren't ready to let go with a lot of the stuff like i don't want him to grow i don't want him to grow out of it i know but we got to downsize so i guess it's time less stuff more home yep clothes so we have a whole pile of that we need to go through. So I just dumped a bunch of clothes on the floor to get started with. Clean clothes that have already been washed. Okay. Venture's clothes throw off to the side. These don't even fit him though. Okay. Wait, do they? portion and this is definitely going to be a lot because there's a lot in the garage. So we're going to put everything that we want to keep out here and then we're going to have somebody come just like pick up the rest of the junk. Ooh, I just 
just got rid of a lot. We're gonna have somebody come and pick it up. All the junk stuff that really can't be donated. Um, tomorrow, so that's gonna get rid of a lot. Plus we have all these boxes right here and some right here that we were saving for when we moved, but obviously we're not moving, so we can get, well not moving, into another like big home so we can get rid of a lot of those boxes. I feel so accomplished right now. We got rid, we of, got rid of, a lot. of a crap ton of clothes and pretty a much junk all of our, ton of oh, junk. Pretty much Mom. all of our garage. What are you doing? I'm just going to help. You playing in the rain? Yeah, let me walk that way, Mom. Wilder's over there playing in the rain. This little monkey just woke up from his nap. We happened to get a lot of stuff done while Ventura was napping, so that was nice. Don't even ask me why we have this salon chair in our garage. Garrick is using it for like a prop for a music video. It's the most random thing ever. <sighs> I know we probably said this a thousand times, but I can't tell you how good it feels to downsize. This little playroom set thingy is gonna go with Mimi and Papa. A lot of their like bigger toys that we know that they're gonna want. Later on, we're gonna keep at Mimi and Papa's house. Yeah. We did a lot while you were sleeping. We did lots of stuff and you were just snoozing away. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Ow, 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 That's why I don't wear my hair down often. I just want to give a little bit of a rundown of what our plan is for all of our stuff in the house because we obviously do have a lot of stuff. You guys know I just got a sewing machine that I really, really love and I was really excited about right there. And I'm just going to take like the sewing machine portion out and I'm going to take that with us on the bus but obviously not like the furniture piece that's on there um the only furniture piece i think we're gonna keep is this dresser behind us just because it's really sentimental to us and we're gonna put that in the kids room at garrick's parents house we're really trying to like get rid of as much as possible because in the beginning we thought about getting a storage unit um and we still might do that if if it comes down to it and we're like, oh, we want to keep this, we want to keep that. But we really don't have like sentimental ties to a lot of it, to a lot of the furniture at least. In the next few days, we're going to buy a school bus. We're looking at a few different ones. We're probably going to drive or fly to Texas and that's where we're going to be working on the school bus. So we're going to buy it there. It only makes sense because we're in Florida. So that's eight hours away. There wouldn't be any sense of buying it here and then driving it there. You know what I mean? So, so what we think we're going to do is in the next few days we're gonna go to Texas, buy the bus, and then I think we're gonna stay in Texas for a month or two while we're building the bus. Really we're thinking about just getting like a tiny home Airbnb just to like get used to living in such a small space. We thought that would be a good idea. And we're really excited to just vlog the whole journey. Like really, we cannot wait to document this. For the kids to watch this whole experience when they get older, that's just, that's priceless, huh? We have a space of a lifetime. He's probably gonna take his first steps, you guys, at the most random, naturist place. You gonna take your first steps outside somewhere. Somewhere in the world. Guys, his laugh kills me. Look at this. We have already collected literally bags and bags and bags of stuff that we need to donate. Now that a lot of the work is done for right now, we're gonna head in and get something to eat because we're all pretty hungry. And Wilder has requested pasta, so we're gonna find somewhere that has pasta. We're gonna have a fun family dinner. Like, what is that? So cute. I am ready for some carbs. Oh, scoot in, baby. Scoot in. Kids are in bed. Now is the part of the night where we do researching till 4 a.m. Yeah. About the bus and maybe we should answer some a few questions that we've been getting asked repetitively. Like someone said I would definitely start sleeping in the same room for a while. I while saw that. Move into a bus. That is a good idea, but we definitely plan. It's, it's still not. That's still false expectations because the way we're gonna build this bus is gonna be completely tailored to our needs. Yeah. We're gonna. The kids are still gonna have their. Their room, it's, you know, it's obviously we're going to sacrifice space, of course, but they're still going to have a room to themselves. Some people are asking, what about 
the kids with school and we're going to homeschool them while we are busing, while we're traveling? Yes, definitely going to homeschool them. Another thing to think about is we're, we may or may not be doing this forever. Right now we're just, this is just something we that could we could, we could, we could love this and do this forever. There are families that go from, man, like I encourage you, I've said this before, but I encourage you to go watch the look up family of five in a schoolie or school bus conversion with family of five or six or seven or eight. Yeah, they have like conventions and um, Where all meet these ups. people meet up in their schoolies and their and their RVs. That it's they a live huge. Awesome. It's a huge community. I can't wait to share that stuff with you guys. But right now is not the time yet. Kind of jumping ahead too far. Someone but. said. Someone said he be getting so excited he just cuts her off and goes on talking. Oh, well, the look she gave him once or twice there too. Haha, <laughs> bless them. It's true, babe. You do. Yeah, I know. But you so do the excited. same thing. Like just true, now, true. when I just just talking yeah, to you. Blah, 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 blah. So, like I said, this is something that we've always wanted to do. So we might do this, and we might, you know, travel a while, and maybe it's not for us for a full time thing. We're getting one of the biggest buses that you can possibly get, and I've done enough research to already have an idea of what like the layout's gonna be. Or a lot of people actually are asking, will there be a bathtub? Because people love no yes. love baths. So We're gonna much. do a bathtub for sure. It's gonna be a barrel bathtub. There's. There's some things, like when we first started this, there's some things that I was like, I absolutely cannot compromise, and that's one of those because it's such a relaxing time for the kids, like we're, wind down time. We're also most likely going to do a roof lift as yeah. well, so it'll open up a lot more space to where instead of having a bed on the floor and then you have all that headroom, we can put a bed like super a high up, like a loft, and have under space, like above the driver's seat. You guys, I saw a really cool layout, and I love it. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be crazy. There's so many positive people, though, that are just so, so kind. And, we, guys, we can't... There's no turning back. Like, we're basically already living in the bus at this point. Yeah. <laughs> like, in our minds. There's no turning back. We're really excited. Okay, also, we're getting some questions about Hazel's pacifier, because you guys saw her pacifier in the last video. And we're weaning her very slowly. She is very different than Wilder was, and she has really, really, really big feelings and emotions, and so we're trying to go about it in the best way possible. Um, so it's just been very difficult. So if you see Hazel with a pacifier, then that's why. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and end today's video here. We gotta pack up all of these clothes so we can go donate them tomorrow. But anyways, today's Instagram shout out, man. Oh, I'm gonna show you. Today's Instagram shout out is Marion Scholler. I hope we said that right. Shout out to you. We love you so, so much. Seriously, thank you so much because without your support and every single one of you, we would not even be able to pursue this dream. So we're very, very thankful and very blessed and very appreciative of you guys. We love you. You guys are our clan. You guys are our family. We can't wait to meet you guys all across the world or I'm all across so America. Excited. We're so great. excited. If you see this, make sure you DM either me or Garrick so we can send you a little gift just to show our love and appreciation for you. And if you want to be in the next Instagram channel, all you have to do is be subscribed to our YouTube channel. We're following us on Instagram and post something positive on one of our most recent Instagram pics. That's all you gotta do. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Take a little notification bell, please. So you don't miss any of our videos. And we'll see one. you guys. We might have a bus in the next one. In the next one! I'm